up? Um, welcome to another studio vlog. I'm sorry it was so long since my last one. Less time than the time before though, so I think we're making progress. Um, this week I work on a painting, so we get some progress or process videos. Um, and then uh, I'm also going to be sharing with you my Patreon, which um, I just launched. I've been debating about Patreon for literal years, and uh, I pulled the trigger. I've been doing a um, subscription newsletter uh, where I share worksheets and uh, readings and links and like all sorts of like fun behind the scenes stuff. Um, and this actually feels like what I want that to be. I hope you guys are doing okay. There's been a lot of wildfires here in San Francisco, or like Cal I'm in San Francisco, but in California, and um, I was listening to the news this morning, and I had thought that it had been a month since I had really been hanging out outside. Uh, Wednesday, what's today? Yeah, like Tuesday or Wednesday, the um, air cleared up, and the air quality got really good, and it was I like was able to sit outside and read and um, not wear a mask, um, you know, like not wear a N95 mask, like obviously in public I'm wearing masks, but um, you know, it was the first time I didn't have to like, I didn't like taste smoke and I was listening to the news this morning and they were like, the Bay Area has clean air for the first time in 30 days and I, that's just like, it's a lot and it was affecting me. Um, so if it's affecting you or you're displaced by the fires or um, in any way being affected by any of this, um, I just want to let you know I'm thinking of you. Um, and uh, I don't know, it's, uh, we gotta be making moves. We gotta make moves. Um, anyway, this week is gonna be great. Um, I'm excited to share it with you and uh, let's get to it. So I got a bunch of paper. Um, to try out because I'm working on a large project I can't really share with you but um, I need to use really large sheets of um, probably 300 pound uh, cold press paper so I usually I'm a pretty diehard arches fan but I went to my local art store yesterday um, and they had Saunders 300 pound for like a third of the price. So I'm gonna try it out. Um, and I thought I would share with you the different textures and then maybe do a little testing.
So you can see this is the Saunders. Let's see. Hold it up. Um, it's nice. Um, it's not really my favorite. I just like to do these little color swatches and test how colors laying down and what it looks like. It's just not, I think maybe what I'm not liking is the saturation level. It doesn't hold the paint in the same way that I kind of am used to it being held on arches. Um, but it's, it's still beautiful. It's not like it's not beautiful. I did buy five sheets of it, so I'll find a way to use it. But I am liking the way that the paint is being held on this Arches 300 pound. This is the traditional white, so you can see it maybe more in comparison. See how this is the bright white from Saunders? This is the traditional white. Um, but there's these moments of how it's like holding pigment on the paper. There's just, I'll wait for it. That's how I like for my paint to be held. Wait for it. Um, just really beautiful. Whereas this feels pretty, but it feels a little bit flat. And I guess pretty isn't the right word. It feels absorbent, but it's not allowing for that like variation in intensity, which I like in um, my painting. So I will be going with arches most likely for this project. Future Lindsay coming at you. Um, I am editing the video and I realized I didn't even film myself explaining this project. Um, last video, I think I shared with you the painting I was doing for Hashimoto Contemporary here in San Francisco. Um, it was uh, for their show um, NSFW and I just didn't really like, I liked it, but it wasn't my favorite. So I decided to redo it and I'm doing it in a monochromatic uh, indigo and ultramarine, um, like a blue. And uh, it has a ton of like sexual symbolism in it without it necessarily like being sexual. And I realized I wanted to add like a floral motif. So behind the figure is going to be um, calla lilies, which I thought was a great um, flower to choose from because I feel like it's maybe even non-gender specific um, or is of two genders. So I thought that was kind of neat. And I thought that that might be something I wanted to explore. I'm going to be showing you a little bit of that process of me adding the flowers in the background. I hope you like it. I'm making white content to be honest. I keep doing it. I love the Caucasian stylings of um, Sophia Coppola, you know, the other girl, <laughs> um, the Cohen brothers, you know. Um, a bomb but bomb. What, 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 what would be interesting, though, <laughs> um, is make your Caucasian movie. 